let's go for a walk. A little cold, but the air is crisp. I can look up, feel the sun on my face. Now imagine spending your entire life in a box, four walls, one window. Welcome to room. One evening when the sun went down and the jungle fire was burning. This is a story of captivity and endurance. A kidnapped mother and her son, who's grown up, spent his entire life in a room. Well, really, a shed. Good morning, lamp. Good morning, plant. Good morning, sink. By telling the tale from five-year-old Jack's perspective, it turns this tale of imprisonment inside out. It's still claustrophobic, but through Jack's eyes, room is a world, a place with space for wonder. What makes Room work are two remarkable performances. Brie Larson as a woman who's exhausted, her life stolen from her, but fiercely protecting her son. And then there's young Jacob Tremblay, only eight years old when he took on this role. The way his nostrils flare at his first glimpse of the sky, that explosive temper, it feels unfiltered. And that's the other remarkable thing about Room. Escaping is only half the struggle. In the real world, Jack is like an alien adventurer glimpsing our planet with fresh eyes. I've been in the world 37 hours. That's us. We push. I see windows and hundreds of cars and birds and grandma and grandpa. While Ma struggles to adjust. You're impossible to talk to right now. Well, sorry. Well, no, no, you're not sorry. Yeah, I'm not sorry. You have no idea what's going on in my head. Yeah. Well, Director Lenny Abrahamson rounds out the cast with Joan Allen as the grandmother, Canadian Tom McCamus, particularly great as her partner Leo. Sadly, William H. Macy largely wasted. Although Room is set in America, from the locations to the, the quiet way it approaches the drama, it feels Canadian in the best way possible. It's unpretentious and emotionally honest, a movie where love and tenacity save the day. Four stars out of five. Eli Glasner, CBC News.